I'm Carla Thomas from Health Quality Innovators. Today I'm with Joyce Perkins from Henrico Doctors Hospital and Cheryl Miller from the Laurels at University Park. We're here today to talk about another idea that works, the use of circle back, a technique using six questions during a warm nurse-to-nurse -nurse handover of patients between one setting and the next, specifically the hospital to the nursing home. Welcome, Joyce Hi. and Cheryl. I'm glad to talk with you today about this technique of circle back because um, it's an idea that's working lately. So, Joyce, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about how you started to use this idea? Initially, I was uh, the geriatric nurse navigator at Retreat Hospital, and part of my role was to follow up on patients when they were discharged home or to the skilled nursing rehab or assisted living, and so I would just call to check on them and I would find out all interesting kinds of questions. And then when I became part of the uh, Care Transition Coalition, um, watched a webinar and Dr. Botwell talked about one of the best practices of this circle back. And this is a warm handoff the day after the patient has been transferred. So they had a nurse to nurse report and then I call the next day and just make sure that the patient got there safely and make sure that there were any issues with the transition of care. Can you tell me uh, what was different about using those six questions versus the previous conversations um, you've had? I think it, it helped me focus in on everything. Um, everything from the transition standpoint to getting there safely where there's an issue with the transport, where there are issues with medications, mm -hmm. with paperwork. Um, and then again, ensuring that the skilled nursing facility had everything that they needed to care for um, their so Cheryl, you're on the receiving end of these phone calls, um, and you've spoken with Joyce on several occasions as a unit manager here at University Park. Um, can you tell me what, what changed with these calls as you've been receiving them, or what's been helpful? Well, it's nice to be able to have a consistent point of contact um, when the patient arrives. If, if there's something that um, was not passed on between the nurses in report, then it's that opportunity to um, get that information at that time. Mm -hmm. And so I think just having that bridge or that linkage between the hospitals and the SNFs, it really has um, helped our uh, ability to care for the patients once they've gotten to us. Mm -hmm. um, and it's nice to have somebody call and follow up and say, you know, do you, what do you need that, you know, that um, can help you take better care of them? One particular example we had, um, we, we had received this um, gentleman in, and things initially seemed like, um, the transition had been smooth, and then as he came to be here with us a few more days, he, because he was very complex um, and, and had some chronic health issues, there were things that we needed which were, uh, would be reflected in his lab values. And so we had done some labs and found that he has some critical values. And what I wanted to be able to do was, um, my attending had said, can you compare these? Can you get any labs from this hospital stay and let's compare them because we don't know if he's trending up or trending down. And so it was, be, it, was, it was wonderful when my attending said, can you get this lab and can you get it fast? And I said, yes, I can. What improvements um, have you addressed with your team at the hospital based on the feedback and wealth of information you received from the nursing facilities related to your handovers? I think the number, the key, issue, and everyone has told me this across the board, is that physicians don't realize that if a patient's anything that's a controlled substance needs to have a, they call it a hard script, a handwritten script, and that either the, the nurses don't realize it to look for them, or the doctors don't forgot or didn't take the time to, and then what happens is the acute care setting does a great job of managing the patient's pain, then they arrive, and for Cheryl and I, they're in pain, and Cheryl, Cheryl doesn't have anything that she can give them, mm -hmm. and that's awful for the patient. It doesn't help. It, it doesn't give the patient a good taste about the skilled nursing facility either. I mean, they treated my pain in the hospital. Why aren't you treating my pain here? So each and every time that happens, and they tell me, I go back to the physician and to the director of the nursing units. Just a general reminder: this patient, you know, needed a prescription for Ativan. 
know, or their pain medicine or whatever. And I think now the I know our staff at the hospital are looking for those scripts and making sure before they send them. And the doctors are getting better at making sure they do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think, uh, I mean, in fact, I think it's, you've seen a big decrease in not having pain medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a simple thing, but it's a, important. Sure. So let's talk outcomes, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really excited about the outcomes from the fact that um, anytime I discover an issue, I always follow up. Mm -hmm. I follow up on um, at my end or at the skilled nursing facility's end. Um, reminding them to send the prescription for the narcotic that they didn't send handwritten. And when I started making the phone calls, about 26% of the time there was an issue. It could be any issue. And I would follow up, and in the month of February, I only had issues 8% of the time. So that the more, it's fewer times, we're getting better at the transition. Great. I think just from reminding people, um, people didn't even realize they weren't doing it, or just getting it into the habit of doing it is making it better. Joyce and Cheryl, <laughs> thank you so much for your time today to talk about the Circle Back process. Um, six simple questions are making a really big difference in the Richmond community. Thank you so much for your efforts um, to improve patient care and transitions. And there is another idea that works.